question is that the Claire Karen. Chair. So I want to address um, my remarks to um, the supplementary order paper um, uh, the, the deletion of clause 58, which is around the Braille um, 346. Pro provision. 346. Thank you, Mr. Chair. Um, I, I've, um, I, I'm actually appalled, and I, I didn't sit on the select committee for this, um, uh, and uh, I've been reading some of the submissions. I, I don't know, I, I've heard the Minister um, speak generally about these issues, but I don't know if he's quite specifically dealt with... Um, well, I'd like to, you know, I, give, me the, give me the chance to ask the question. Um, and some of the questions around this. But um, I, I'm, you know, there, I want to, with reference to the fact that there were 14 submissions um, in this piece of legislation that specifically that, that included the, um, they include individuals, they include blood citizens, and I know that um, there's been references made, Mr Chair, to that submission. Uh, the Taxi Federation, New Zealand Taxi Federation, the Ombudsman, um, Braille Authority and the Otago Regional Council and local a very aus auspicious organisation and local government New Zealand all make reference to this particular um, clause in the bill. And when you actually read the um, the, uh, the officials report on this, I fail to understand what the logic is actually other than cost for the removal of this clause. And that's my question, one of my questions to the, chair, to the minister and the chair, is, um, is it fundamentally that the removal of this clause that requires a braille, a simple braille identification um, mechanism for people who are sight impaired to know when they get into uh, a vehicle, a small passenger vehicle, um, and therefore can verify yeah. there and then that it, it has a, 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 a safety measure that they can verify then and there, um, is it the cost of that that is the reason um, for the, the new technology, that is the reason for removal of this clause? Um, the precise number of sight impaired people in New Zealand is around about a quarter of a million at least, maybe to half a million people. Um, it would be good if somebody could give me the precise figures on that. That's actually quite a lot of people. Um, uh, and, uh, you know, it's a significant number of people for the government to be surely paying attention to them as a group in society and their ability to um, uh, have accessible means of transport. When I read the officials' report, um, I, I, I read with some horror around the uh, commentary on the convention, um, the United Nations Convention of the Rights of Persons with Disabilities, that there was a reference to the fact um, that the convention does not specifically require the provision of information in Braille. Um, therefore, and the convention requires that New Zealand to take appropriate measures, but it does not identify specific initiatives that must be implemented. So that felt like a kind of a, a get out clause, which I think in terms of health and safety and the accessibility, which this government says that it's providing accessibility to people. Um, why would you, why, not you, Mr Chair, but why would the government say that um, the provision of an app where the, there is a tracking mechanism and if there's a problem, then that the, the, the Uber driver or whoever can be actually tracked in retrospect, how is that a solution? How is that a solution where retrospectively you can track somebody, but where if there's an issue when they get into the, into the vehicle and an issue occurs, 
um, and they don't have a mechanism to identify that it's um, a, a viable vehicle. Mr Chair. Uh, Jamie Lee Ross. Move that the question be now put. Uh, yeah, no, I, I, we've had uh, at least a dozen opposition speeches uh, on, uh, on this part, uh, and I think there's been an opportunity to cover everything. The question is that the question be now put. Those of that opinion will say aye. aye. Contrary, no. no. The ayes have it. A party vote is called for. The clerk will conduct a party vote. New Zealand National. 58 in favour.